So hi guys and welcome back and what we have here today is a surprise because it's an unlabeled box. Why well, not? It is the FPV model ZMR X210. So that's the new X frame by fpvmodel.com and we can already see some really nice battery holders here. But let's take a look at its whole glory here. Let's put away this box and let's see what we got here so what we will do today is the unboxing which is in progress right now we will then measure the weight of all parts do our carbon fiber test uh, measure the thickness of the arms and so on we will do a time lapse build time lapse build of the bare frame and then we will draw our conclusions what is really nice is not only these battery holders, which I really like. So these are really good quality. These are actually usable, you know. You often get these battery holders where you don't know what to do with them. But these ones are actually usable. The frame also comes with the excellent Matek uh, PDP. So this is the mini power hub. Uh, 5 volts and 12 volts PDP. It's a version 3 of it. And you can see... This is a that typical Matex style PDP, which uh, works really, really nice. I use it in on several frames. So this is something which I can suggest to you. And then we will have all the parts here. So what do we have here? So these are obviously the bottom parts, the bottom plates, uh, which have the arms in between them mounted so double bottom plate with the arms in between that's a typical style you can also see here in the front already uh, the left out for the camera plate and then here we have the top plate of course which you can see here so this is probably for the antenna for the uh, video antenna here and this is obviously the front of the plate with the huge left out for the FPV cam which will be angled upwards here mounted below on the plate. We will take a look at this in a second when we do our time lapse uh, video. Then here we have the arms themselves of course. <laughs> really nice and thick carbon fiber arms here. So typical FPV model quality so really nice you can see the layers of carbon fiber here they look really great we will measure their thickness in just a second then what else do we have here these are the side walls so on the front of this right below this yeah here you can already see how they will fit right below uh, this uh, top plate uh, to just save your camera there are these uh, side plates here which are really nice a nice touch many of the new quadcopter frames have these then this is the mounting plate for the camera itself obviously meant for well no not only meant for one of the smaller cameras but obviously for any style of camera which allows to just screw in here beside the lens these screws to mount it other mounting approaches are of course possible and finally we have all the hardware here which you can see i'll just give you an overview of it by holding this into the camera nicely packaged in separate plastic bags and we will use most of this in just a second when we do our time lapse video but first let's take a look at the relevant components uh, and their weight of course so let's see what we have here I'm really curious about this so let's start with the arms so each arm comes in at about 12 grams to 13 grams so let's put all of them here so the arms alone come in at 49 grams then we have here these two bottom plates and the top plate which adds another few grams we are arriving at 96 grams here now then we will take of course these side walls 
and the camera mounting plate which gets us to closely above 100 grams and finally all this mounting material I will leave it in the plastic bags for now and because we will anyways after the build we will take a look at the real weight of the bare frame so <laughs> all together we arrive here at 172 grams for the parts of it and we will of course go into the assembly in just a minute but first let's take a look at these arms let's see what we have here let's focus that and you can see oh yeah this is really nice so these are well, almost four millimeters so let's see if that is properly calibrated yeah so we are we are having 3.8 millimeter arms here at least when it comes to my calibers this is really nice because you know this is really for a 210 size frame almost four millimeter arms is you will have a hard time breaking these arms and another thing which they learned from their first version of the Setem R180 of course is there are no unnecessary left out in the arms anymore so as you can see this is a pure carbon here no left out where the arms might break so they learned their lesson which is great Let's take also a look at the uh, bottom plates here. These two are identical, yes. Let's see what we have here. And you can see also the bottom plates are two millimeter plates, which is pretty strong because there are two of them. And the top plate, I would assume 1.5 millimeter maybe. And I'm right, these come in at 1.6 millimeters, the top plate. So this is all very nice and very shiny and I already like it a lot what we will do now is we will jump straight into the time-lapse build of this
so here we have it this is a beauty right i really really like the quality of this so i have i really have to say one can really see that fpv model has been in this business for some time and they really really know their stuff for example these little parts here are all metallic parts and really nicely laid out you can see the windings in them which will let you easily mount uh, your hardware here your pdp and your flight controller here also this part also has windings in it which makes the holding of these arms very very strong because each arm here is held by these two screws and additionally this is also still the arm by this screw here which goes on top of that so this is a really 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 nice thing uh, one more thing i like this is these little uh these little i will try to focus here there we go these little spacers here, they are not plastic, they are also metallic spacers as are these. So really nicely covered metallic spacers and they have windings in them. So this really goes to together very tight and very, very, very nicely. So I really like this. And I just told it, I forget, forgot a uh, screw here. But this will get you to something else, get us to something else in a minute. So this protection is also really nice here. So this fits very nice. As I just said, I forgot one of the screw here. So I will have to screw this in. And there are two very minor issues which I have with this. But first, let's take a look at the weight of this completed frame. And for the completed frame, we arrive with a weight of 136 grams, which is actually really, really nice and not too heavy given how massive this frame is. So these four millimeter arms, you can see them here and all the nice parts of how this is mounted. This is really nice. But I told you I have two things. So actually, I only have one issue because, well, I... <laughs> Before I built this, I thought, wow, this is really strange because with these walls here, I have no more uh, the possibility to fit this camera mount. But this is logical, of course, because this camera mount, so this side mount here, the side walls here are, of course, for the uh, HS1177 camera which will mount straight here and then look out on the top so all is good here you have if you do not um, use this side voice you can use this camera mount which will go in here once here and once here and will also have a nice tilted level if you want to use another camera but for the hs1177 this one is great so this is a great mount so i do not have two issues i only have one issue and the one issue i have is some of these really nice spacers seem to have bad windings so for example for this spacer i cannot get the screw in so it will go maybe half in you probably saw it in my time lapse video i even had to put this out uh force this out again so i get this half in maybe like to here and now it won't move anymore so some of these spacers have two of these spacers for me have bad windings in them and the only thing so this can happen this is not a big issue this can happen the only thing i would ask from fpb model give us some spare spacers we do not have any spare spacers here with the mounting material we have plenty of other screws here which are great but we do not have any spare spacers here so please give us some spare spacers so that we can mount this nicely other than that this is an awesome frame i really like this frame so i have really good things to say about this i am really looking forward to building this up this would be a great thing uh, so well this basically concludes my review of this this is a great frame i can really suggest this if you like this video please leave a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'm looking forward to see you next time